is a, another uh, mistake trooper just went inside apparently to, to get a lieutenant. Ah, to okay. To to. But if you can answer I'll try to answer any questions if I need to go get the lieutenant. Okay, well, I, I think doing it anyway, so you may get back, you may get back up. Okay. <laughs> so, so um, we understood, we're with Occupy Austin, by the way, as you know. Yes. <laughs> uh, but we were notified that a new memo was issued today from the State Preservation. Uh, and it uh, um, made some clarifications about what we understood previously was a three hour restriction. And, oh, it's okay. uh, and we just wanted, and we were also told that the state troopers had also received the memo and were aware of the new, yes. the new regulations. Okay. Um, so, what did you hear? Well, what, what we heard. From the reading of the memo, in fact, well, Jessica here has the memo, but I can give you a quick presentation. Is that essentially the three hour restriction on our right to peacefully assemble anywhere on the grounds is not is not accurate. Correct. And that and that we are allowed to assemble and exercise our free speech rights um, anywhere on the Capitol grounds. Um, 24 hours a day, Correct. but there were some restrictions on, I believe, tents and camping, tents and permanent. Do you think they could be construed as camping? Okay. Sleeping, sleeping bags, tents. So we are allowed to be here 24 hours a day. Be on the grounds, according to the memo. Okay. And so, according to my reading of it, that was the only real restriction that I missed something in. Just um, no dogs need right. to be on a leash. We hadn't had a problem with that. Right, so I recall that um, as well. Yeah, well, we've got a copy of the yeah, too. But. So was it any, anything else? I mean, that's basically what I got too. But no dogs uh, off the leash, no dogs in the capital. I don't think that really pertained to y'all. Uh, but uh, no camping. Yes, ma'am. Well, now, maybe you can help us understand that because I've actually made, uh, at this point, two or three dozen attempts to call the points of contact that you had listed uh -huh. and have yet to receive a return phone call. And you even have a name for uh, Mindy. Well, it was Mindy Epler, which you gave, and then her uh, superior, which would be uh, Sneeds, something to that effect. Uh, I've left messages with, with them multiple times every day since Monday and have not received one phone call in return. So at this point we don't have a point of contact in that office because they're choosing not to communicate with us. So you're really all we have with the exception of this one memo which was released. As far as you know, are those still the points of contact? Just like, a, like I told him before, Mindy's the one that makes the... Uh does the reservations for the steps and stuff. Would it be possible for you to request within your organization that somebody come out here and speak to us from that office? Because, as I said, we're here as a group, you know, asking for clarification. We've made every effort. We appreciate it. We appreciate right. you speaking with us, clarifying. But, uh, I mean, we, you know, we, we've made every effort we can via the methods you've provided, but at this point we have yet to receive any formal communication whatsoever. So is there somebody in that building that can come out here and speak with us? When you called before, has there been uh, had there been uh, somebody else to talk to there? A nope. A well, a secretary willing to take a message, but I mean, like I said, I've left you know dozens of messages at this point, and as have others from our organization, and we have yet to receive any response whatsoever all week. So this is why we're here communicating with you now because we have nobody else to speak to. 
tell you what. Let go me. Down. Go down. Go down. Let me, uh. Here's what I would recommend. Because honestly, I've only talked to them on the phone. I don't know where their office is. Right it's got to uh, be close by. Right. Well, I was told that if we were to come without an appointment, we wouldn't be able to speak to anybody. But I can't make an appointment because I can't speak to anybody. <laughs> that's a problem. Yeah, that's an interesting, interesting loophole. Um, Is it possible since you have the ability to get them to answer your phone call, can you just simply make that request on our behalf? Just tell them that we have made multiple attempts to communicate with them to no avail and that we would appreciate somebody come out here and speak to us? Let me go and see what I can do about that. All right. Because I think that would be a little bit beyond what... Right, and I understand all we're doing at this point is reaching out to the only people we're able to speak to, which is you. So, okay. thank you. All right, thank you.